Leo, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As always, not going to resonate for every single Leo out there. It's not possible. If this doesn't fit your life, check out your other signs, specifically your Moon and Venus when it comes to love readings. All right, guys. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. Oh, nice, Leo. Okay, so you yourself are coming in this week in the Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles energy. You could be walking away from a situation, one with a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties, and now you're just moving on to... Um, an easier way of being. You don't have to actually be leaving a relationship, but definitely moving past some challenges, taking the lessons that you've learned and moving forward. You're in sort of a transitionary phase, but there is a new offer here. Um, it is very new. Somebody that, you know, you're newly into or the other way around, but this one this new connection is going to be solid. It's not, it's not just hook up. It's not, you know, whatever it's, it's new. So we don't know for sure, but the intent behind it is long-term. All right, let's get some more. Yeah. Whatever you're leaving behind was just so fucking draining, like sucked the life right out of you. It was like you were pulling all the weight and it got to be too much. And you're like, no, that's it. I can't. Justice. Yep. So this new person coming in could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be, but whoever this new person is coming in for you, it is going to be a balanced connection. You are going to be treated like they're equal and that's how it is. You guys are each other's equals. So there's not going to be any kind of weird unresolved karma that you'll have to deal with with this new person. It's going to be like the complete opposite of what you're walking away from where you were pulling all the weight. It was just a lot of fucking challenges. It's going to be the opposite of that. It's going to be easy balanced you know both of you putting forth the same amount of time effort energy and it's solid it's something that it's it's a person and offer that you can trust recent past three of pentacles hmm, i'll clarify i don't generally like to focus on the past but we'll see since it is the three of pentacles Yeah, you could have been dealing with somebody in the recent past that had you in some third party shit and was definitely not emotionally available. All right, but presently you have the Angel de la Nuit. This is a bonus card in this deck. This is like um, a light coming in after a dark time. It's like renewed hope. You know, so if you've been in a shit place, which it looks like with that Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, things are turning around. There is a bright spot that's going to show up for you. The Lovers Reverse Gemini. Yeah, I definitely, I, this is for those of you, you know, either going through a breakup or letting go of a situationship or something. Um, again, with the potential third party shit. Um, guys, I forgot to tell you, but at the end of the reading, I will answer a yes or no question for you. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you have for me and I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. King of Cups. Yep. This next person coming in for you is actually emotionally available. Like I said, it's going to be like the complete opposite of what you've just dealt with can be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is emotionally mature, older, probably um, older than you or not. Who knows? It's going to depend on your age. But this person definitely has their shit together emotionally. They are very loyal. They're emotionally expressive. 
and they're not going to have any walls up. They're not going to be guarded. They're going to be so emotionally open and forthcoming about how they feel. You're not going to wonder at all. And I think with them being that way, it's going to allow you to be that way as well. Like it's going to be very easy, very easy to deal with. Could be somebody from your past. If that's the case, if this is somebody coming back from your past, this isn't going to be an ex that you had some horrible ending with. This is going to be probably um, you know, somebody you've just known a while. Maybe it was a friend and now things are changing with you guys. Or it's somebody that just makes you feel very lighthearted, very childlike, very playful. This person could have kids. Your immediate future, you have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. This is a new beginning and it's clear. Like there's no hidden shit like I've been saying. Whatever this person is saying to you, you can trust it. The communication is going to be so clear and straightforward, very direct. Like This is like somebody has an epiphany here. <laughs> three of wands they could be at a little bit of a distance from you but if so it's not going to be an issue um and this person is somebody who is actually looking towards the future like they're planning for a future this is not some kind of little overnight shit and the four of pentacles reversed again like the level of like emotional openness here is so cool. And it's so, it's something that you just don't see all the time. Um, I mean, it's pretty rare to see somebody that's that emotionally open and that, you know, trusting of themselves to be that emotionally open. It's really cool. I love it for you. All right, your potential obstacle though, the 10 of cups. So as an obstacle, because this is the best card that you could get in a love reading, but to have it as an obstacle, it's kind of like, there might be some question of, you know, do I wanna settle down? Is this what I want? Because this person is gonna be like all in. Is that what you want? Do you want to settle down? Maybe there's a question of, do I want kids? This person looks like they have kids. Do I want to be involved with somebody that has kids? It could be that. And the Six of Wands. Oh, do I want to let people know? <laughs> do I want to keep this secret? Do I want to let people know that this is happening, that we're together, that we're settled down? I mean, these are just challenges that you're going to run into here, but it doesn't look like anything terrible. Um, it's all up to you, you know? Your advice is the chariot cancer here. This is about going after what you want. It's about taking control of your life along with the universe and working with the universe and steering your love life in the direction that you want it to go. This is also a travel card. Like I said, this person could be at a little bit of a distance from you. You might have to travel to see them. They might have to travel to see you. If it gets serious, one of you might need to relocate. Um, but as an advice card, it's just, it's go with it. You're moving forward. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, you're going to have to make a decision. There's going to be, you're going to be really busy. Um, you might have to juggle some things. If this person isn't physically close to you. Eight of Swords. Watch out for getting stuck in your head, being stuck in a mental prison. You are not trapped. Um, okay, so say this person is far away. You feel like you're restricted because they're too far away. What are you supposed to do? You have a job. Um, you can work around that. It's just going to take some rearranging. All right, you're not trapped anywhere. I promise you're not all right so I'm gonna get you I just pulled the romance oracles back out today I haven't used these for like a year or whatever I just got so bored with them but I felt like I should break them back out today it's been a little while so let's get you a romance oracle or two my heater just came on I hope it's not too loud for you guys all right what does Leo need to hear this week 
What does Leo need to hear this week? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I think that's this person right here that is just like an energy drain on you. Let's get you one more. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Yeah, I mean, I just said that right there. So if it's not somebody from your past in this life, it's somebody from your past in another life. Um, but it doesn't look like a past life relationship where, you know, we have those come up because we have unresolved karma with the person. It doesn't look like that. It looks like this would be a gift. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna get you an oracle or two from this deck. This is like if you have somebody in mind and they're not telling you how they feel and you just wanna know, this is what they would say to you if they could. Whoever's on your mind, Leo, take a deep breath, focus on that person. What does this person have to say to Leo? What does this person have to say to Leo? You are the best thing in my life. Let's get you one more. What does this person have to say to Leo? I left when I saw you with someone. I don't know, I feel like that's the other way around. Let's see though, you were the best thing in my life. Who is saying this to you, Leo? Ooh, somebody you're in some drama with right now. They got a headache thinking about this, whatever's going on with you. I left when I saw you with someone. Who is this? Again, I think this is the other way around. Could be an Aries, somebody who is real reckless. Okay, let's get you in the other signs. Let's see who we have here. So we have majors. We have Gemini. Cancer, Libra. Gemini, Cancer, and Libra are the majors, and we also have heavy um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for your next person. All right. Leo, Leo dealing with Aries, Leo and Aries, you guys need to have an honest conversation. Leo and Taurus, Leo and Taurus, this could be your next person because we have the page of pentacles here. This is a new offer meant to be solid, definitely stable, definitely an offer that you can trust. It's not just a hookup, but it is still brand new. Leo and Gemini. Someone is walking away from that connection. Leo and Cancer. They're very codependent. Um, they're just looking for someone to fill a void, so I would not. Leo and Leo. So you can have a Leo X somebody from your past, somebody you dealt with before um, that isn't over you, but it's not in like a cute little nostalgic kind of way. It's like they're still pissed. Leo and Virgo. You have a Virgo stalker, um, somebody all over your social media watching everything you do, but not saying shit. It might be somebody that you blocked um, and they're still just checking up on you. Leo and Libra, which you have in this reading. Mm, that is draining. That's, again, with the Ten of Wands, that's something that's very draining, very heavy, probably should be dropped. Leo and Scorpio. Leo and Scorpio. Oh, the Chariot, um, which you have in this reading, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. That is moving forward. If you want it to, that has the ability to move forward. This person might be at a distance from you. Leo and Sagittarius. 
there's some secrets there and somebody isn't paying attention to their intuition. Like universe is trying to show you some shit there and it's like you're refusing to see it. <clears throat> Leo and Capricorn. Leo and Capricorn. Whatever the anxiety is around that connection, the stress, the anxiety, depression, that is clearing up. If this person is having some kind of emotional issues, they are healing. Leo and Aquarius. Leo and Aquarius. So you could meet an Aquarius through work. Um, this is the type of a connection though where you can build on it. It has the potential to be very long term very stable. It is, it isn't going to happen overnight. It's going to require work, but the potential is there. Leo and Pisces. Leo and Pisces. All right. Somebody is getting over some regret, some guilt in that connection and starting to move on, starting to feel more hopeful, more optimistic. All right. Are you guys ready for your yes or no? <clears throat> Take a deep breath, Leo. Focus on your question. Yes or no for my Leo friends. Yes or no. Yes or no, Leo. That is a no. I hope you guys wanted it to be you guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.